What is good, everybody? We are back with episode three, or prep episode three. Um, this one, guys, I just went on a trip in Montana. It was a nice little break for me, around four and five weeks out. Um, I was pushing things hard this whole entire time. Been working a lot, just been really busy with everything. So it's something I really needed. Like usually, I would say anyone who's going on a trip, like four or five weeks out of their show, ain't serious. But uh, you guys, I really did benefit from this, like mentally and physically. Like I was out there, like I love fishing, guys. That's uh, when you're fishing, it's just a meditative state where it's just like you, the outdoors, uh, you know, um, just nothing else in the world matters except for you, the water, the fish, and just uh, being in the present moment. So that's, that's why I love it. Over the weekend too is I did get, give myself a little diet break. Um, I had one cheat meal, um, went to a steakhouse and uh, got cheesecake with my girlfriend. That's obviously another reason why I went. But yeah, uh, weight steak, conditioning stayed, had really good training sessions, love the gym I went to. Um, you guys will get that in this video as well at the end. Um, we'll go through the back day and go through a chest day. Um, got some pointers for you guys and just, uh, you know, it's just a cool little workout video. But yeah, we're going to start this one a little different, guys. We're going to start off with the Q&A because I've been ending with Q&As and people have really, really been liking the Q&As. But because at the end, I feel like a lot of people haven't been getting to them, so we're just going to do it at the beginning right now. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to submit questions, I do this to my Instagram. So just uh, follow me on Instagram. And uh, whenever I like make a video, I always ask for a Q&A um, so we can do this. So I appreciate all you guys who uh, do send in questions. So first question. In your opinion, um, when is the best time to fit in cardio? Simple answer to that question, guys, is you have to make time for the things you care about because you had enough time, guys. You just had to prioritize things. What's a cardio, guys? Cardio is just a tool. So say just because we're on prep, we're going to talk about prep. Cardio is a tool that has health benefits that helps burn more calories as well. Um, so really, it all depends. For me personally, anything over 30 minutes plus. Um, usually 30 minutes, I'll leave it 30 minutes, but for most people, like 40 plus, I'll divide it into two sessions. Like right now, I'm doing 30 minutes, I'm actually dividing it into two intense 15 minute sessions. Um, I find that works best um, in terms of like timing wise, of like fasted, post workout, when to do it. It doesn't really matter when you do it, just do it when you give your best effort to it. That's all that matters, and get it in when you can, just get it in. In terms of reserving energy for weight training, because weight training should be the main fat loss driver when it comes to training to retain muscle and lose fat, you don't want to do it reduce your energy stores or deplete your glycogen even further before your training. So I don't believe in doing fasted cardio or doing a pre-workout. doesn't make sense to me. You're already at the gym um, if you're doing a post-workout. So it's not like you got to change clothes, drive back and forth in the gym. So it's time efficient. You're already there. You already need to deplete the state. Um, it's just, it just makes the most sense to do a post-workout in my, in my opinion. But just get it when you can. Give it your best effort. And uh, yeah. Next question. How do I get big like you? Um, I don't really think I'm that big, but you guys, when it comes to muscle building, guys, it's uh, it's really simple. I mean, really any sort of stimulus to an untrained person is going to make them grow. But really, if you guys want to keep growing and keep growing and keep growing past newbie gains, the devil's all in the detail, guys. You really have to understand hypertrophy and what we're trying to do. So if you just understand your anatomy of your body, understand your body's muscles responsibilities, and you're able to use tools like exercises to load these muscles, um, work them through their forward range of motion if you can, to failure, and then progress that weight. I'm doing more reps, load, in a faster time, different ways to get hypertrophy done. Um, that's just, just how you do it. You just nail down your training of challenging your muscles, not just moving the weight from point A to point B. And uh, yeah, you just make the muscles stronger and uh, it will grow. All right, last question, guys. Have you ever thought about switching to classic? I mean, obviously, guys, I think that's what I'm most passionate about. Um, that's just a look that I really like. Um, I think it fits well, and I just want to keep growing. Uh, I don't have any plans on staying in division, but I'm going to stick with whatever division my physique fits best, which right now is Vince physique. So I'll ride that out, and when the time comes, then most maturity, have the right look, everything like that, then uh, I'll make the switch. But until then, we'll ride with Vince physique and uh, enjoy the process. So. All right, guys, that's it for the Q&A. Now we're going to roll into uh, a little video, highlight video of the trip to Montana. Um, hope you guys like it. And uh, after that will be a back day, a chest day, and that will be it. Enjoy. You have my heart. We'll never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazines. 
But you still be my star, baby Cause in the dark, you can't see shiny cars And that's when you need me there With you, I'll always share Because when the sun shines, we shine together Told you I'll be here forever Said I'll always be your friend Took a oath that I'm sick it out too guys that's it from the montana little highlight video now on to the workouts um we're gonna start with the back day then hit a chest day and uh yeah some good pointers for you guys and hopefully some good clips when you guys are hitting the back most of your range of motion is going to be your back retraction whether you're what you're pulling from where your elbows go that's why i'm to show you on your back so the t-bar it's more like a mid to upper back motion but most of your back arm is contracting back and pulling through the elbows coming through is last a little bit. So you guys are averaging a pull. Always focus on the traction back and pull through. Stop feeling it there. Just work the range of motion when you're pressing here and slowly extend it where you feel it. Extend it where you feel it. Extend it where you feel it. Until you get the whole thing. You can stand by 